Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about PS University in Bangalore and uh, this is the main campus of PS University which is based out of uh, Panchankri Ring Road and then there is second campus in Electronic City. So short campus to here of both the campus first. So in this video, I'll cover all the main details, which is like about uh, programs offered, the admission process, fee structure, scholarship, and also the placement details about uh, the PS University. So first, the uh, courses part of it. So it offers large number of courses across uh, BTEC as well as uh, BTEC diploma entry, right? And then BDES, which is for bachelor's in design, and lot of you know LLB or BLLB, BBLLB type of you know law related courses also there. Apart from this, you can also study, you know, regular commerce courses. So uh, BCom honors and related BBA courses with large number of specializations, Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts, uh, Journalism, Mass Communication. All those quick courses are also available on the bachelor side. So you can also study, you know, on a BBA, BBM, Hospitality, Architecture and many other courses on the bachelor side and large number of courses are also available in mtech and other master sites but i will not going to cover that so i'll strictly maintain to the btech admissions process so admission for 2025 btech programs is through two entrance modes one is the j means uh, and the second one is the KSET. so 45 percent of all seats will be through KSET exam and rest will be through j means and the management quota fee structure so if you are specifically get, getting into through the J mains admission process, you need to have a very good J mains marks at least 90 percentile and above to be even applying and uh, BTEC offers are like CSC computer science engineering and CSC with AIML. So those two branches are the you know, most premium branches. So their J mains based quota fees will be like uh, 5 lakh rupees per year. And if you are going for electronics and communication engineering ECE branch, then J means quota base fees will be around 14.5 lakh rupees per annum. So that will be little 50,000 less. And if you are going for the rest of the branches, right, which is about mechanical engineering or electrical and electronics or uh, the beat biotechnology. So those are the core branches and the J means fees will be then 4 lakh rupees per year. So 50,000 further less. So three uh, brackets are there. And also 20% seats are available through a management quota or it's called high fee category, right? Or the NRI sponsored student side. Right? For those, the management quota fees will be approximately 48 to 50 lakhs for four year uh, program. So, so now let me also cover some of the scholarship which are available for PS university eligible students. So there are multiple type of you know scholarship available. So there are some scholarship like MRD scholarship, 50% tuition fee refund, right? So that is for uh, you know a specific student performance. Then there are um, scholarship which is for uh, uh, rest of the students, and then different type of distinct awards, teaching assistance, SAP merit scholarship, and others which are available. So let me share some details about these scholarships first. So as you saw, the first scholarship was Professor MRD scholarship, right? So basically, uh, this is available only to the top 5% student. So if you are in top 5% in your branch, you will be eligible for this. So if you see the details, you will get the 
fifty percent tuition fee refund, which is quite good. So your fees will become half. So five lakhs will become two point five lakhs because you are getting fifty percent tuition fee, and this is only applicable to top five percent of students and every branch based on their CGPA. Now second is about the scholarship, which is called CNR Rao scholarship, right? So. So this is applicable for next twenty percent of the students. So if you are not on the first five percent student, but you are still twenty percent or next twenty percent of your class, then you will get this. So here, here you are getting forty percent tuition fee refund, which is also very good. So basically, twenty five percent of students are getting quite good scholarship, and that is reducing their overall fee structure. Now then, there is a certain distinction awards which is available. All the students who have scored more than seven point five, seven point seven five is SGPA. So that is based on their marks. So apart from that, there are certain corporate scholarships also provided by the top-notch uh, IT companies in Bangalore. So they also provide for uh, based on your CGPA again the scholarship up to final year students. And then there is a rural scholarship, but I'm hundred percent sure. most of the students who are going to study in ps university where fee structure is quite high they will not the rural students will not go for this so for them the best option should be more towards the ksat and the combed k colleges now there are also certain teaching assistantship which is also available in the form of scholarships so all those students can work under a professors and then there are some research assistantship also available in ps university So now let's talk about the placements. So, so highest salary was sixty uh, five lakhs per annum. So that was quite good. And total around three fifty plus companies visit. And there were total fifty hundred plus offers last year. And total internship offers were around twelve hundred and fifty plus. The type of companies which visit are like uh, global M and multinational companies. Some of the IT companies you can find in the campus are related with HP, IBM, Intel, uh, Intuit, Akamai. Uh, SAP Labs and all right, and then the company from the consulting side, which is like Deloitte, you can find on the campus. Few more, you know, from the automobile space, like you know, Mahindra or Tesco or Siemens are also there. Now, these are the statistics of the last year's placement, which is class of 2024, and this is all the branch-wise placements which is provided in the orientation session last year. So you can see it is complete details, branch-wise placements. And if you see the first column, we say students eligible with six point seven five CGP and above. So those are the students who were considered for the placements in terms of the numbers perspective. So CSC highest number of students were eligible around eleven hundred and forty one, eleven hundred and forty two, and there were three type of offers basically. You can see here. T1 offers are the top offers, which has a very good packages. T2 is the mid tier offers, and T3 are the uh, um, with the normal five lakhs or six lakhs package offers, right? So large number of students were there in the T1 offers. You can see CSC 453 tier one offers were there, all the top notch offers. ECE around 20 tier one offers were there, and then electrical electronics only four tier one offers. Mechanical only six, so total four eighty three offers in overall tier one, tier two offers with the mid size offers between six to ten lakhs mostly in the range of three hundred and thirty one offers. You know again two fifty four were only from CSC and EC were around fifty nine offers, and if you see tier three offers basically around five to six lakhs package that fifty four offers from CSC. Um, like and thirty uh, five offers which were from ECE and electrical electronics ten and mechanical fifteen so hundred and sixteen offers were there all in the tier three category so total number of play students were nine thirty so and out of nine thirty play students seven sixty one were were for come you know CSE hundred and fourteen from computer so all other branches placements are not good only CSE is the branch which you should take and maximum up to ECE you can consider because the placements are quite good here. Now, if you see uh, the number of students uh, who had got multiple offers, 111 students, and the total number of internship offers were 921, which I mentioned earlier. Total number of core offers were around 15. So, core branches, this is not a good offer option to consider. So, that's all I have to cover in this video. And thanks for watching. Please do subscribe channel to get similar updates. Take care and bye.